Tuesday, everybody. Welcome to the Brownwood Lions Coaches Show here on KOXE. I am Derek Stuckley, along with Brownwood Lions Head Football Coach Athletic Director Sammy Burnett. That's him. And some special guests that he has brought in today. Yep. Coach, would you like to go ahead and introduce these guys? I told him I was bringing them in because they're the winners of the Ugly Contest. Oh, congratulations. No, but uh, <laughs> then it, we had things wrapping up. Didn't, don't have any report on 707 because that was canceled on Monday because of uh, soggy field conditions. But we do have, again, baseball going to the area round, playing Decatur in Stephenville. That's Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, 730, 4 o'clock, and 11 if need on Saturday week. Don't plan on being there Saturday because we're going to take care of business. But I wanted to bring in two of our leaders, uh, two senior guys that's helped develop the program and get it back where they want to be, and that's catcher Logan Posey and pitcher Gavin Branstead. Thank you all guys for coming in. I guess let's start off with just what the season's felt like as a whole for y'all. 24-6-1 on the season. District championship. What's the ride been like? Uh, I mean, it's been uh, – it feels like it's gone by fast. I mean, it feels like just yesterday we started January 19th. But uh, it's been a bit, been a good journey so far, but we're not planning to stop anytime soon. So. My turn. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Logan. Uh, well said. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, like you said, it's going by fast. I mean, can't <laughs> can't look back for sure. But uh, I'm glad we're starting to heat up at the bats right now, going into the playoffs. Just to a lot of runs in our last four games compared to the whole year. Less one-run games, hopefully. And looking forward to the playoff run. Yeah, you mentioned the one-run games. I was 13 and one in one-run games this year. What has been the key to y'all being able to win the close games this season? Uh, on the back of our hat, it says TPW, which stands for Tough People Win. And in those close ball games, you have to be tough to be able to win. So that's that's what we do is we, we're tough and pull it out. Uh, I think it's just because our defense has really stepped forward this year. Like last year, I mean, it was bad. Not gonna lie, but this year it's really stepped up and it's made it work. Them run one, run, one run games are – we can hold the lead the whole time with a good pitching as well. I'm glad you mentioned that TPW on the back. I've had so many people <laughs> ask me what that means. I have no idea. So. You know, we talked this morning. You know, we were, had weights this morning, and the thing I talked to you guys about is being physically prepared to play the game. I, they work extremely hard. They're in the weight room every morning, you know, even though they're in season. When we go to the weight room, they're there at 6.30 in the morning, and we talk about mental toughness and what it takes to be mentally tough, and, and uh, it starts with putting in the work. You know, when you put in the work, you expect to win. Uh, you don't fear an opponent. You go out there with high confidence. You expect to win. And as we talked about this morning, you know, they played 21 out games, not 18 out games. It doesn't matter. We've been in uh, the back end of some score, some some scores in the seventh inning, and they found a way to get it done. And that's just belief in them, uh, each other, and you know, knowing that they can uh, overcome any obstacle. And I, that's the mental toughness that they're bringing to the game that I haven't seen in a long time. And it, it's impressive because it doesn't matter what the situation is, they always feel like they can win and they can pull through it. You know, when you win 13, what did you say, 13 and 1 in one run game, that's 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 amazing instead. Uh, and having the experience of being there, uh, if they're ever in that situation again, they're going to have the, the ability to go out there and perform because they believe they can perform and 90% of the game is mental. And uh, they follow through with that, so they're, they're impressive to watch. Uh, they may go out there and 10 run somebody or they may have to win a one run ball game, but they've always seemed to come through and I think if you look at most of their losses, they were earlier in the season. And that's just where you're trying to find what position. You know, everybody's on the bus, what seat you're supposed to be in, what's your role, and then uh, just uh, developing that relationship with each other and knowing that we got each other's back and they're very uh, team-oriented. Uh, they believe in each other. There's no a bunch of bickering or anything like that. They have championship mentality. And, again, I think that starts with senior leadership. We have some, you know, these two guys, like I said, have been with the program since they were in freshmen. And uh, it starts with them. We have some other seniors that are doing a phenomenal job as well. But uh, you know, when it comes to the face of the program, I think you're looking at the two guys that, that are the face of the program. So uh, it started with them four years ago and belief and continue to work. I mean, look at their arms. I mean, you can see them on camera. They work hard. I don't see many baseball teams that, that look the way those guys look. They're very athletic. And that's not with them. You know, it, it's all year round. I mean, they work and grind. So they expect to be successful, and, and they will be. Well, speaking of arms, pitching has been a big story this year for y'all. Of course, Gavin, you're on the staff, and Logan being behind the plate. Just kind of talk about the success of the staff all together this year and, and why y'all been so successful. Uh, 
Um, I think the main reason is Coach Hill has been uh, counting on us about being consistent. No matter what it is, be consistent with uh, your form. Don't ever try to change anything. Don't try to overthrow. Just do what we are taught to do. He said uh, you never flip a switch and go throw a perfect game. You always revert back to our training. So that's what we do. We train to be consistent. What's it been like to you behind the plate? Great. A lot more strikes, a lot less <laughs> blocks. And, I mean, and when we do throw strikes and they hit it, I mean, our defense is making plays, so I'm happy. Mm-hmm. All right, you got Decatur this weekend. What do you all know about them? What kind of concerns you got? Um, I mean, we've got the report from Coach Sanford. He said they'll put the ball in play, but they'll also strike out a lot. And then he said their defense is good. They don't make a lot of errors. Uh, pitching, he said no one that just – Stands out. Nothing we haven't seen before. So we're just gonna go out there and do play our game. Any keys? Anything in particular you'll have to do this weekend to come away with a win? Just do what we've been doing. That's all. That's all we got to do. All right. That's that's well said, isn't it? You just believe in you. Know that it doesn't matter. Every opponent you play from this one forth is gonna have 20 win seasons or something close. It's are you gonna go out there? It's, it's a faceless opponent. It doesn't matter who you play. It's how you play. Take care of what you can control. Get outs when you can get outs. Ground balls are better than fly balls. Fly balls are better than strike outs. Throw strikes. Don't give them free bases. They'll be successful. Well, thank you all for coming in. Good luck to you all this weekend. Hopefully we're watching you all for several more weeks to come. Coach, anything else you want to add? Uh, no, I mean, I wish them the best of luck. I have all the confidence in the world. You know, I get to go there Thursday and watch them play, and then I'll head Thursday night after the game from Steamville and go to Lubbock. Because we have regional tennis starting on the 10th that Friday in Lubbock. Uh, they start at 8 o'clock in the morning, so it's not very good for an old man like me to get up at 3.30 and try to drive to Lubbock. Yeah, that's not the problem. It's watching them play tennis all day and then trying to get home that night. So uh, I'll probably head to the baseball game and head up. I'll miss the game on Friday. Uh, but hopefully they'll wrap up the series on Friday, which will be awesome. If not, uh, we'll get back and join them on Saturday and, and, and watch them be victorious. But, uh, again, I wish Coach Blasick. And the tennis team, the best of luck as they compete to try to have an opportunity to go to the state uh, tournament as well. So uh, we wish them luck. It's a long drive, but if you don't have anything to do, get out to West Texas and watch those kids play. So we got baseball, we got tennis. Anything else going on? Well, again, you know, we started the, it, you know, the season, the, the year never ends. It just starts over. And once again, here it comes time for seven on seven. Uh, the kids have been working hard there. And we got our games canceled this Monday, but we'll pick it up next Monday. We'll be shorthanded. We have uh, our track team, which is getting recognized in front of the board on Monday night, and there's a, a whole lot of those guys that, that are on the track team that play football, so they will miss 7-on-7, seven seven, so we'll just put other guys in there and give them opportunities to get reps. Uh, it's a big deal to get recognized in front of the board for their accomplishments in, in the region and the state. We have that going. Again, we have a lot of things going on with the uh, uh, bond, which is exciting. You know, next phase that I'm really excited about. They started going with stadium. They're doing the lights and the turf as we talked about, but I'm really excited about what's going to happen with the baseball and softball field coming up starting January uh, June the 3rd. Uh, I, I, I was talking to these guys a little bit about it on the way up here, but it saddens me because uh, those guys don't get to experience you know, playing in the new facility, but what I want them to understand, if it wasn't what they've done, uh, the importance that they put in the baseball program, it wouldn't be important to the community to help uh, increase our facilities and give them a better opportunity uh, to play on nicer facilities in the years to come. I, re- I remember back when I was in school and played, we played out at Camp Bowie, and uh, we had a pretty good baseball program at the time, and, and we helped get the baseball field, more south off field than we have now uh, built, and being a part of that was, was really neat. I only got to play a little bit on it, but... Uh, it was enjoyable to see that that was there and the legacy that we started and what happened from that point on. You can give to these guys right here because baseball is important in Brownwood, Texas, and it's because of young men like this that, that make it important. And it's important for our community to support them. So I wish they had the opportunity to play on the new facilities, but it's because of them we're getting to have, have an opportunity to have new facilities. So I thank you. Yeah, definitely very well said. So congratulations to y'all guys for helping make that happen. Um, Anything else we need to mention? Yeah, I would like to mention that Gavin was selected to the Texas High School Baseball Coaches Association All-Star Game. That's a big deal. That's voted on by coaches, so congratulations uh, to you for that. Have fun. Enjoy the moment. Yes, sir. And both of y'all are going on to play college.
Yeah, yeah talk about that a little bit. Tell them a little bit about where you're going and what you plan on doing. Um, I'm going to Vernon Junior College. Uh, I'll probably two-way like I do at Brownwood. I'll play first, then hit, and then I'll pitch whenever I'm called up to pitch. I'm going to Western Texas, and I mean, I'm just going to catch, I'm going to hit, and then hopefully I can go to the university <laughs> after. Yeah, yeah, that's outstanding. Yeah, yeah. Big deal. A whole lot of people would just have the opportunity to play at the next level, but the numbers decrease as they get older, but I know they'll be successful. All right. Anything? Else? Oh, speaking of seven on seven, what we mentioned the other day, three qualifying tournaments this year. Yep, it'll be uh, May the twenty fifth in Graham, June the first at Brownwood, June the eighth at Jim Neal. Right. Yeah, that's seventeen days. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> right around the corner. <laughs> we'll be all right. We'll still be in the middle of baseball though. We'll yes, exactly baseball. right. We'll have a lot of kids out for this show in baseball. What we got to do now? Thank our sponsors. Thank our sponsors. <laughs> That's right. Auto Glass Magic, Burner Auto Group, Syntex Body and Paint, Syntex Equipment Sales, Citizens National Bank, Dan Hill Containers, Dr. Bon Young, Dr. Pepper Bolling Company, Ever Jones Investments, Henrik Medical, Highway Enterprises, Hunt for Pete's, Harlan Funeral Home, Landmark Admin, MC Bank, Painter Johnson Associates, Smith & Sharp Agency, Sonic Drive, and Stanley Chrysler, Texas Bank, Weldon Once Electric, Western Bank, and Willie Stevens. We will be back here Monday to recap the Brownwood Lions Area Championship in Baseball here on the Brownwood Lions Coaches Show on KOXC, KOXC.com, and the KOXC. We'll see you Thursday night in Stephenville. Have a great day, Brownwood.